Hi all. Today we are going to discuss Java problem of IRA 24th Jan 2022. First we will discuss problem and its solution. Guys, please subscribe my channel. Please support me. There was a problem in the test cases given in the question, which we will discuss in later part of the video. We have already mailed to the TCS team. Now let's discuss the question. As far as the question is concerned, we need to create a bus class which consists of these four attributes. Bus number, travels name, passenger count, and bus stop. After that, we have to generate a parameterized constructor. We have not used getters and setters just to save our time. Now, we have to create a solution class which consists of two static methods. The first one was count total passengers and the second one was search bus method. Okay. Now let's discuss these methods one by one. In count passenger method, we have to give two input parameters. The first one is array of bus object and second one is int value that is given in the question. After that, we have to find total passenger of those buses which bus stop value is greater than the given input value. And finally, we have to add total number of passengers in the count variable. And then we have to return. If, if there is no such bus present, then we have to return zero. Now let's understand this with the help of example. Now here, total four buses are given, 12, 13, 14, and 15. And the input given is six. Now we have to check all the buses whose bus stop value is greater than six. Then we can find that we have only two buses whose bus stop value is greater than six. That is bus number 14 and 15. Now what we have to do, we have to count the passenger of these buses and add them. So we can add 44 plus 45, that is 89, and we have to return it. Now let's go to the solution part of this particular method. Coming to the solution, what we did was we created a solution class and a static main method. After that, we went down to the bottom and there we created a bus class which consists of different attributes, bus number, travel name, passenger count and bus stop. After that, we generated a parameterized constructor and initialized all those attributes. Now, we will come to the main method again. And in the main method, we declared a bus array, which consists of four objects because we were having four objects in given output. Now we will take the attributes of these four array using for loop in bus array one by one. Okay. After that, we will take one more input value that is the bus stop in input one. After that, we have called count total passengers in which we have passed input as bus array and input one, which we have received from the question. After that, let's go to the count total passenger method. In count total passenger method, what we did was we initialize a counter. After that, we start iterating through each of the four objects. Then we will check that particular object bus stop value is greater than input value or not. If it is, then we will find the passenger count of that object and add it to the count variable. We will continue it for all the four objects. After that, we will check whether the count is greater than zero or not. If it is, then we will return it, else we will return zero. Now come to the main method. Coming to the main method, we will check if the count value is zero or not. If the count value is zero, then we will simply print no such bus found. If count value is not zero, then we will print the count. Now let's come to the second method. Second method was bus search method. Okay. In this method, we have to take two input parameters, array of bus object and one more input parameter, which is equivalent to passenger count given in the question. But here it is given like array of company object. So this is the problem. It should be given like array of bus object. Okay. I think it is a spelling mistake. 
In this method, we have to calculate the bus object having second highest bus stop. But that bus object count of passengers should be greater than the count of passenger given in the input value. Now let's understand this question with the help of example. Now here the given input value is 32, which is passenger count. Now we have to check which of the following buses has passenger count greater than 32. So we can find that bus number 14 and bus number 15 has value of passenger count greater than 40, 32, sorry. Among these two, we can see that the bus number 14 has second number of largest bus stop because the bus number 15 has the number of bus stop as 8. So we have to print the bus number 14's value in the solution. Now, so that's why we have printed TRE and 7. Now let's come to the solution. Now coming to the solution, first we what, what we did in the main method is that we have taken input two values using a scanner class. After that, we have called the bus search method in which we have passed the bus array and input to that we have taken from the question. Now let's go to the search bus method. If you come to the search bus method, then you can see that we have created a temp array with size zero. Now we start iterating the bus object one by one. Now we will check if that particular bus object passenger count is greater than the input given in the question or not. If, if that is the case, then we will increase the temp array size by one. After that, we will put the bus stop of that particular object in the temp array because we have to find second largest bus stop. So we will put these bus stop in the temp array and sort them. After sorting, we will check if its length is greater than zero or not. If that is the case, then we will take the n minus two position of temp array in the x because we have to find second largest. After that, we will start iterating the object again and we will check if the particular bus object, bus stop value is equal to x or not. If that is the case, then we will return that bus object. Now coming to the main method, we will check if object is null or not. If the object is null, then we will return no such bus exist. If object is not null, then we will print its travels name and bus stop. So this was the question. Now let's go to the ID screen and run it on gigs for gigs. Now we are on the ID screen. Guys, in the question, in the solution, we have done one mistake here that we in the solution that I have shown, we have not used sc dot next in input one. So please use these two values. Also, in the last value, do not use sc dot next line because we do not have any line after this. Now we have run this program and we have found that the output is correct. Let's discuss what is the problem in the question that we faced. The problem is that the test cases that they have given is int a string a string int but the attributes of bus are like int a string int and int so there is a you can see int a string a string int but the attributes of bus were like int a string int int so we were getting input mismatch exception this was the problem That's all from my side. Please join my telegram group for getting the solution and question of this 